just speak to my team that way. For some reason, my stream is unhappy. Why is my stream not happy? What's going on here? There we go. Well, still unhappy. going on. Uh, let's close that. That looks better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, there's a there's a pretty hefty delay. Let's do this. All right. So, on our last expert fun time with this thing, we had an issue where you turn the board on and all you got was two solid lights. Um, initial diagnosis gave us an issue where we couldn't read and write the RAM, uh, but we were able to read the ROMs okay, this RAM okay, but... We're having a problem trying to write this one. 
Um, this chip is controlled by the reset circuit. Uh, we also know that the CPU wasn't doing anything, so we actually took the CPU out, hooked up the Fluke troubleshooter, and when we did that, we we could see everything, but it, was, but it was also running, but it still wasn't working right. We determined the issue was something with the reset line that was tied low at the end of the video. Um, and then off the video, I started doing a little bit more digging, and I had a bad transistor, so I replaced the transistor. Um, that did fix the issue with the RAM, so after I, I would turn it on. Hook it, power up that there. Light, it, the lights were still on, but I could read, write, and RAM. So, which then left me with the issue. Listen, the CPU was actually running. The CPU was actually running, and everything was going fine with that. Um, which then left me down the row of... What? You know, I'm just going to just turn off my interwebs. So the issue was the lights were still stuck on, but I could read this. This was fine. This was working fine now. This was, and everything else was still working okay. Um, the 6821 was being accessed. It was traffic was flowing to it, chip selects were being pulled high and low, <clears throat> but the output was completely stuck. So I went ahead and removed the 6821, put a new 6821 in, or new old stock 6821, um, turned it on, the lights go off, we hit this button, this light goes on, it is definitely functioning, um, do a reset. And then now all the, so these lines here control the display and all the strobe lines for the display are being processed and there's data flowing on all of them. So I'm assuming the board is working just fine. Um, I don't have a system six system that I can put this board in and test it. So I am going to ahead and give us a clean, clean bill of health and get this back to the customer. Um, next item on the list is a, uh, Professor Pack. Um, Professor Pack's going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, I'm going to pull it out of here now. And we're going to show everyone what the issue is. The issue is it's in a card cage. Um, it's in a really bad bent up card cage. Um, it's only got two screws on the bottom of the card cage. So it's in pretty rough shape. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be very hard to actually test this or to get in here and do anything because of the card cage. I have to disassemble the actual card cage and look at the bottom side of this card cage after I take these crusty screws out. Ugh. And update them. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to update this professor thing here. Uh, professor Pack. that um,
All right, so this is Professor Pack. I'm uh, not sure why my stream didn't update. I guess I should probably call it Professor Pack and not Professor Pack. There we go. Done. All right. Rusty, rusty screws. Hey, my remote. Put that right there. All right, this needs to go over here. Pile of stuff to get sent back out. This is a Z80 based system. Um, Reports are that it, it boots up and locks up at the attract screen. Uh, I'm going to get this panel off the bottom of this thing. Um, I need to put some new screws in here and also put some kind of insulator in place. Um, you'll see here in a reason why in a second. Uh, these rusty screws will be replaced with something else. There is literally, so there should normally be a piece of material here to prevent these from shorting out against the bottom of this case. Also, this thing is pretty bent up pretty bad. I'm not sure if that happened in shipping. But we will straighten this down a little bit. And what I'll do is I will cut a piece of material to put down to help protect. Yeah, there should have been a should have been a piece of paper here. You can see where it was there. So this could easily short out against this. All right, I'm going to leave... here in the game IO slot. Alright. So here we have Professor Pack. Um, option mover, screen RAM, CPU, CPU, memory, screen RAM, pattern mover, 640K ROM board, game IO board. Uh, don't think anything went in this slot. So that should be the layout. Um, the other tricky part is the schematics for this thing are absolutely dog shit. Um, wiring diagrams, everything. Literally, it looks like total horse shit.
let's do this. I got to do something here. Switch screens real quick, but not while I have all this other stuff open. We don't want to see all that. Random Fox, yes, the smoke. No, uh, I was working on a system six board a couple of seconds ago, so I was just showing the. Uh, I I just put some random word in there to get people to uh, join the stream, but it didn't work very well. Um, I need to switch the screen. So now I'm working on a professor pack. And naturally, the internet sucks for instructions. So here's our instruction manual from 1983. And I need to... Nope. See, that's not the one I want. How about this one? Go on to the archive.org. How are you doing tonight, Fox? I'm going to probably play some PUBG tonight in a little bit. He's working hard, hardly working. Thanks for the resub, by the way. I appreciate that. So this is the schematics I'm working with here. This is awesome. This is absolutely crap. So this is the, no idea what that is. See, I can't, this, this is, I, this sucks. Um, see if I can find the wiring diagram for it. But all right. There's our video. That's good. Power is plus five and twelve volts. That's great because. I don't need to do anything crazy then. Um, again, a plus five, a ground. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom of the, that board and see if are all these are connected. So I'm going to print this out. Take it away from my prayer to boot up. Oh, the board's even labeled. That's awesome. That actually says negative 5 volts. And then the video is up here. Hopefully I can find my video connector cable I have. Up here somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, where, oh, where would my cable be? Oh, where, oh, where are you hiding? This looks promising. Hey! No, it's promising, but this is not the one I want. 
This is the one with the cut cables on the end of it. It's not the cable I want. Looks just like this, but it's not this. Alright, I'm gonna print this page out here. Hydrate homie! Yes, just a sec. Uh, custom page. And whatever page that I was on. This page here. Page 6. I don't want to save it as a PDF. I want to print it on my huge giant printer. All right, these cans are empty. Let's switch over to this camera. Cheers. As it dribbles down the side of my face. This the only page that's actually readable. Go figure. So I still need to find I still need to find the other one of these. See that I'm doing my squats properly. Well, that sucks. All right. I'm going to move this shit first that's falling on the floor. Camera's all crooked. Is it crooked? Yeah, it's crooked. Let's fix the camera. Still crooked. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. There you go. Eleven. Thanks for the house, Blue Frenzy. How are you doing this evening? Where's my where's my connector?
I just had it the other day. I was using it on the what game was I using? I was using it on the um, the other game board. I took it off. Here's the connect door. Goes on there. Red, green, blue. Yeah, I was, uh, I saw that. Couple of people, I got a couple of people playing it, or I saw a couple of people playing it. I'm guessing it's like a MMO World of Warcraft type game. I don't need. Oh, I was using it on Donkey Kong. That's right. No, Donkey Kong didn't need that. What the heck is that? What is that? What are those green emotes? And why is my stream delayed by so much? I think I have enough connectors to do it the old fashioned way. Well, maybe I do. Need that for that. Red, green, blue. That. Need one more for a ground. Can use that for video. What I need to do is I need to put these style clips on here. Like this. I have a bunch of these somewhere. Blanks. Yeah, I don't know. It's it gets some lag badly. I mean, how bad is it? Yeah, I mean, literally. I don't know what the lag is for you guys, but on this screen, it's horrible. Like, I'm a, I shouldn't. This screen should not be this lagged. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what's going on with that. That is horrible. <laughs> it's like... 15 seconds. All right. Um. 
Um, if I can't find this, I'm probably going to have to call it quits. I'm not in the mood to make another cable right now. It should have just been sitting up here. There it is. Found it. See, I knew I had it. Oh, crap. That's not it. Well, you know what? It'll work. It's not quite the right cable I wanted, but it will do what I need. Nope. know where this cable went oh where oh where did you go oh look I was looking for this the other day when I was building that computer that would have been helpful using the blu-ray burner instead of the janky CD drive oh look my, my TPG. It's helpful. All right. I am shooting for nothing here. This isn't going very well. All right, so... Let's see. These okay, so all the power rails are connected. So hopefully you guys can see this. Looks like you can. So we have this is sixty hertz or so it's labeled that. This is 60 hertz on this side. It's actually not labeled on here. There is no pin one, so we're not gonna use it. Pin two is, pin two goes here, which then connects to this. So pin two is five volts. Looks like pin 3 is also 5 volts. Yep. So, all these pins come connect. So they go through an inductor. There's a little capacitor here to ground, and then they all go through these inductors. So this whole rail here is 5 volts. This rail here is a reset. 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 are all grounds. So all I need is hook ground up to one of these. Five volts, probably like two of these. This guy here that's next to all these, which is this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is plus 12 volts. So this one's 12 volts right here. So there's only one 12 volt. All the rest are five. So five, 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 five. Like four fives. This one is not 5 volts. This is a 60 hertz signal, which is labeled 60 hertz, but it's not even going anywhere on the board, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, and then they're running negative 5 over here on a separate circuit. I don't think we're going to need negative 5 to get the board running. Negative 5 is probably just used for the sound section. And there's also a reset. 
which is probably just needs to be left floating. So looks like all the pins are all 